morning everybody it's every day with Lisa it's a wonderful day it's a beautiful day this is the day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it you know the song too this is the day this is the day that the Lord has made that the Lord has made let us rejoice let us rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it remember that song this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it because it's a wonderful day. It's a new day. It's the day that God gave you another day to be alive and to do all that you can do and to be the best that you can be. So you have to do that, you know, always try to be happy. I know there's always something that is always going to get you down and there are always people that will always try to steal your joy. I think I had one of my talks and I spoke about stealing your joy. And there will always be people that will try to steal your joy and try to distract you from what you must do for God. There will always be people like that. But they are used as stepping stools for you to reach higher. And speaking about that, today I want to talk about your enemies help to promote you. Now, why do I say your enemies help to promote you? Why do I say that? Now, I'm going to invite the Holy Spirit. I want to invite the Holy Spirit to come with me today and to speak His word. I invite you, Holy Spirit of God, to be with me, to fill me with your love, fill me with your joy, fill me with your knowledge, fill me with your wisdom, and speak through me, Holy Spirit of God, because I want you to use me. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So today I want to talk about your enemies help to promote you. Now that sounds kind of funny and if you like, how could my enemies help to promote me? Now, in your life, you will always have people who just don't like you. They will hate you for some reason or they will just don't like you or they will always come against you. These are like the thorns. Okay, these are like the thorns in your, in your garden. Okay, and of course God likes to do gardening and he likes to pluck out all the weeds, all the bad things in the garden and keep the flowers in the garden. So just remember that you have a God who's always on your side and he can remove your enemies, but he uses them. He uses the enemies. God uses opposition to make you stronger. If you don't have opposition, if you don't have people who dislike you and want to keep you down, how then could you rise? How then you, could you want to have that determination to be better now? They have people, if you fight them down and you make them feel bad about themselves, they fight. They are very determined to make it. Now, I am one of those people where if I find that I have somebody is against of what I want to do, I fight them back. I'm very, I have a very determined spirit and it makes me better. So if you try to keep me down, I will just try to be better and show you that I can be better. And this is what most people do. So if you have opposition in your work, if you have opposition in your work, you just be better than them. You just you will always try to be better than them. So that's why I say they help to promote you. Your opposition will always make you stronger. So this is why we need opposition and this is why we need people like that around us. Okay, and then without look at look at David. Let's let's talk about David for a little bit. Because I love David in the Bible. Without Goliath, without Goliath, David would have not gotten the throne. He would have not been promoted to the throne. Because when David when David went out onto that field, he did not go to fight Goliath. He went to carry to send food for his brothers because his father is Jesse. His father's name is Jesse sent him out to serve his brother's food. David did not, did not go on the intention to fight Goliath, no. But when David was out there, then he saw the enemy and he was not afraid to confront the enemy. Why do you think that David was not afraid to confront the enemy? Because David knew that God was on his side. David knew that he had somebody stronger, someone stronger and more powerful on his side. And David slew Goliath. And Goliath was David's enemy. But that day, they saw the goodness, the greatness in David. They saw the bravery in David. And that is when they appreciated him more and respected him more. 
You see that? So David could not have gotten that throne. I mean, God had chosen David for that throne. And if God cho chose you to be the king, you will be the king. But Goliath, he had to come against the enemy. And because of faith, he came against Goliath and he slew him down. Little David compared to big giant Goliath. So what I'm trying to say here, okay, is that we must not be afraid of opposition. We must appreciate our enemies because our enemies make us better. Okay, they are placed as a footstool for us. God says he will place them as a footstool. Our enemies as a footstool. What is a footstool? A footstool is something that you can put your feet on and step on higher. That is a footstool. And God will use your, make your enemies a footstool to break you rise. God uses every bad, every harm that has come against you, he makes it for good. So I'm going to put on my little crooked glasses again today because I want to read some verses in the Bible that I came out, that I wrote down about God, about what God thinks about enemies and what is that. God has ways of taking what's meant for your harm and uses it for your good. So God has ways of making what is meant for your harm and making it good. So anytime you see anyone who is against you and they're fighting you down or they're preventing you to do something else, maybe God is allowing it to happen because he has something better in store for you. If they're taking away something from you and, you, and, 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 and it's not for you, God is making something better for you. All right. So thank God for your enemies. Thank God for your opposition because he's going to do He's make using them to make you a better person. Luke and Luke's I'm going to read some verses here. Luke 18 7 says and will not God. Now, let me explain something to you. God's vindication is very, very powerful. God's vindication for his chosen ones. Is very very powerful when you have God on your side he vindicates you okay when you keep God on your side and you keep God in your battlefield and he let the battle belong to God he will vindicate you okay his vindication is very powerful and Luke 18 7 says and will not God give justice to his elect his chosen ones who cry to him day and night will he delay long over them no God would not delay long over them. If you cry out to God every day and you speak to God every day, do you think that God is going to delay? It might look like God is delaying. It might look like God is taking his time, but trust me, he is working. He is working behind scenes and you are not seeing the work that he's doing. You just have to trust and wait. Wait on the Lord. God's vindication is powerful. In Psalms 43, one vindicate me says, in Psalm 43, verses 1 says, Vindicate me, O God, and plead my case against the ungodly nation, this ungodly nation, O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. Let me repeat that. Vindicate me, O God, and plead my case against an ungodly nation, O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man. So don't you think that God is going to deliver you from your enemies? Of course he will. God has always delivered. He's always delivered. He's always delivered. He delivered David from his enemies. God delivered Moses from his enemies. God delivered Joseph from his enemies. God delivers from your enemies. So just, just wait on the Lord. He will vindicate you. Isaiah. I love this. You see this, this verse? I love this verse. My One of my favorite verses. Isaiah 54 17 says no weapons that is formed against you no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that accuses you in judgment will be condemned this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication is from me declares the Lord this is what God says in Isaiah no weapon no weapon, nothing that is held against you shall prosper. Anything that the enemy is sending to you will not come to you. Once you believe and you have God on your side and you place him on your side and you know that he, the battle belongs to God, nothing can come against you. 
It might seem it's coming against you, but it's not. As I said again, sometimes things happen. You say, why is this happening? Always tell yourself, it's for a reason. Always say, God is doing it for a reason. He's going to show me why this is happening. Okay? God does everything for a reason. Let's allow the enemies and all these, all these things coming to your life a purpose to make you stronger, to make them to clear a path for you. God does these things. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that accuses you in judgment will be condemned. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication is from me, declares the Lord. See that? So if God says that, God is not a liar. God is not known to be a liar. God cannot lie. It is not in his nature to lie. And his word is true. And he will vindicate you and he will refute any tongue that rises up in judgment against you okay be very careful what you say about god's chosen people because of god's chosen ones especially ones who who are for the lord be very careful don't judge people it will come back to you do not criticize people it will come back to you okay we must try not to do that we just pray for them just pray for them we are all falling short of doing that we all of us we are all for fall short of doing that do not speak up people do not say anything for people and just let god deal with them okay vindication belongs to god and god alone vengeance belongs to god and god alone okay now now let's see another now let's see what the bible says of what god says about your enemies let's see what god says about your enemies now in exodus 23 22 says if you listen carefully now i want you to listen to this carefully eh? if you listen carefully to what he says if you listen carefully to what he says and do all that i say I will be an enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you. Who do you think God is talking about when he says, but if you listen to what he says? Who do you think he's speaking about? I believe he's speaking about Jesus. If we listen to what Jesus says, when Jesus came, he came as the word of God. Jesus came to be the word of God. God the Father stayed up there on his throne and he sent his son. Who? is like him in every way and when jesus came down he spoke his words and he gave us teachings he's also meant to be a teacher he's our teacher just as our savior and he says if you listen carefully to what he says and do all that i say hmm, i will be an enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you so keep god on your side people you just keep god on your side the battle belongs to the lord the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to God and only to God. And if you keep him, Jesus Christ, at your side, at your back and on your front, nothing can oppose you. It will seem so. The devil will fool you. He is a liar. And he lives 24-7 making lies to us and helping, making us feel down and telling us, oh, you could never make it. Look at how them, those people blessed. They close to the Lord. No, they don't go to church. They, they don't even talk about God. And look how much look up, look, look, look how they are making it. Look, how they, look what they have, and you don't have anything. Don't worry about that. Devil will, the devil will whisper so many things in your ears. So many things to you to discourage you, to make you feel that God is not on your side. You just pray. Just pray. Keep close. God close to you. Talk to him. Read the word of God. Always recite the scriptures and speak out the scriptures. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. My God will oppose all those opposing me. And you find scriptures and say it and say it and pray and pray and pray. Don't ever, don't cease to pray. And don't cease to praise God. Praise him at all times. Worship him and praise. God loves praises. God loves praises. And he will oppose those who oppose you. Now, this is a hard part. Now, I'm going to come to a part that all of us don't really like too much. You know, I, I'm speaking, maybe I'm speaking about me generally. Maybe I'm speaking about me. But I think most of us kind of have it hard with this verse. 
in Luke 6 27 30 says okay but to you who are listening I see love your enemies see what it says love your enemies do good to those who hate you isn't that hard to do that's a very very hard thing to do to love your enemies and do good to those who hate you I think I am going to be very honest to God that's a hard thing for me to do I personally just cut them off I keep away from people who hurt me and people who I realize are not my friends I cut them off which I think is the best thing to do because then you're not, they're not gonna hurt you anymore but what did God what did Jesus say love your enemies do good to those who hate you and you know if you really do that though and you treat people with kindness even though they hate you and they mistreat you or they bully you or whatever and you treat them with kindness you're actually putting you just you know you're doing something because they can't i mean you can't fight somebody who's not fighting you back all right but i have to say i am one of those who can i will try hard not to do it but i still have a lot to learn in that set in that part so it says but to you who are listening i say love your enemies do good to those who hate you bless those who curse you you have to bless them if they curse you bless them if they say the curse you bless them pray for them pray for them let me tell you something yeah when you pray for people who hurt who hurt you and curse you and and they just have something against you and they want to put you down when you pray for them some magic just happened it's like some wonderful miracle has happened and you forget all about them and you forget all about what they do to you so just pray for those who curse you all right Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you, turn the other cheek. Okay, so you see that part about turning the other cheek? I still have a lot to learn about that turning the other cheek part. That, I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say I do that because I can't do that. But I will learn to do it, Lord Jesus. I will learn to do it. I will really try, okay? I'll pray about it. Give God, ask God to give the grace. But he says here, Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you, turn the other cheek. Turn to them the other also. So you have to turn the other cheek. So if they slap you, have to turn the other cheek. What I mean to say is that you do fight them back. Let them do what they ought to do. Pray for them. Pray for them, my people. Okay? So this is the verses. And as I said again, remember that once you have God on your side, if God is for you, who can be against you? If God is for you, who can be against you? Okay? If God is for you, who can be against you? So just have to keep saying that. They said, if God is for me, who can be against me? No weapons formed against me shall prosper. Okay? And um, read your Bible verses. Go through your Bible verses and read. It's nice to read the word of God and listen to the word of God. And it's wonderful, you know? And my dear people, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. I want to say happy birthday to all my friends who are ha having happy birthdays out there. And I want to say happy anniversary to those who are who are having anniversaries as well. I want you to have a blessed day. Enjoy your birthdays. And um, thank God for another year to be, to, to be able to enjoy that birthday. And um, do what you love doing best. And I would pray to God. I really pray that I could continue this. This is a grace. God gives you a grace. And I'm praying for this to continuously happen every day with Lisa and my and my my inspiring. I hope it inspires you. And um, so have a wonderful day, people. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.